And that's the clear choice on offer at this election. Stick with us and our plan that is working. That economic plan is now allowing us not just to cut taxes for everyone in work by £900. Just listen to that again. That economic plan is now allowing us not just to cut taxes for everyone in work by £900. This is now getting ridiculous. That was Prime Minister Rishi Sunak telling reporters completely unchallenged his government is cutting taxes for everyone in work by £900. It's completely untrue and he knows it. And it's not the first time he's made this claim completely unchallenged on UK news shows. And next week, everyone in work is going to see in their paychecks a tax cut worth £900. It's just complete bollocks. It's simply not true to say that everyone in work will see a £900 tax cut. As full fact point out, the Institute for Fiscal Studies says once the impact of all tax changes is factored in, the average worker will save just £340 in 2024-25, and those earning less than £26,000 will actually be worse off. That's right, once the impact of all tax changes is factored in, the average worker will save just £340 in 2024-25, not £900. But listen again to what the Prime Minister said. That economic plan is now allowing us not just to cut taxes for everyone in work by £900. He doesn't even say the average worker, which would also have been wrong. He says every worker, which is completely untrue. And remember, those earning less than £26,000 will actually be worse off. The Prime Minister has even made this completely untrue claim in Parliament. This week we're cutting taxes by £900 for everyone. And the Chancellor sits there nodding even though he also knows what the Prime Minister has just said is completely untrue. This deliberate misleading of the public and Parliament has got to stop. And that means UK news shows calling this bollocks out whenever it happens. How hard can this be?